Hey guys, today I am gonna make another alpha investment video. We are back. You might be like, why are we not why are we not making mana source video? Well, his videos are getting no views. They're getting like five thousand views of video. It kind of doesn't make sense to cover another YouTube channel. Like what what would you get? Ten percent of those views? Like it, it doesn't make sense. Our limit the ceiling is too low. So back to Alpha Investments, uh, he made two crazy videos. Uh, one was my response in the uh, death threats. Yes, the death threats or the frets, the frets. Uh, this was when a, uh, a gaming store, I believe, Dark Tower Games. So Rudy bought a collection, a wonderful collection. I don't think anyone has any doubt that that is a collection that anyone would love to have at $30,000, if they had the extra $30,000. That collection today, probably a $50,000 collection, at least $45,000 collection, at least he made money. He bought it at the low low. Uh, it was, it lost a lot of value in transit, which I find very hilarious because that's not how a buy list works. You know, a buy list is you fill it out. You, it's like an order, right? You, I mean, the price is not supposed to change during transit. So when I order something with my, distributor oh magic 30th is happening i don't then ask them for a discount on my order even if the cards did go down in value even the packs became less desirable let's call it i then don't just return it to them i just accept the delivery because that was what i said i would order things changed but i still honor my initial assessment so num number one the fact that people are sending cards to rudy chan without actually knowing what the offer is They've been given a range of offers, but then, you know, things change as they always do with the Rudy Chan and they have to be lowballed. Just, you know, it's just what happens, right? And now Rudy has your cards and he's giving you an offer lower than the range that he originally negotiated, even though I don't even understand why there's a range to begin with. And you're like, oh, I'll take it. At that point, it is 100% your fault. Because you can tell Rudy Chan no. Send me my cards back. Thank you. I don't want to, you know, that collect. Let me tell you what that collection is. Or uh, he bought it for thirty thousand. I would have paid forty two and a half. That was the best buy list. Um, I actually did a because he showed off the collection, right? I actually did a calculation of Cool Stuff Inc. plus Car Kingdom, and I picked the highest number. So the other part, which is really surprising is Rudy averages the buy lists together, which again is crazy. So Card Kingdom had a buy list for 100 and ABU Games had a buy list for 10. The average would be 55 and that would be Rudy's offer in, in this case for this one card. But like, why wouldn't the guy just sell it for 100? <laughs> like, why is he selling for 55? He's losing 45% of his value actually more than 45% of his value, right? He's losing $45 on a $55 buy. That's that's like almost 100, he's losing almost 100%. No, 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 not 100, eh, depends on how you calculate it, right? So my point is quite simple, is Rudy's using these tactics, they're very intelligent, but you know they're coming and he's actually been very transparent with it. So the one thing I can tell about Rudy is he's very transparent about his tactics. You're not getting the highest price you could. You're not getting the best buy list. You're not getting eBay prices. You're not getting TCG play prices. Like when he's telling you to invest and buy his stuff, then he's telling you he's taking market price and so on when he's doing his videos. But that's not really true. If you have somebody undercutting the market price that, you know, the market price is $110. Like if you bought a box from him at nine or let's say a hundred and go, and then the market price is 110, they'll be like, oh, hey, everyone made 10%. That's not true because there's a dude selling it for 90 and the dude's got 50,000 reviews. The reason he has 50,000 reviews is because he sells at the cheapest price. Like the idea that somebody's selling for a cheap price is the worst of the, you know, that you have to pay a higher price to get better service is incorrect. It's actually the opposite. The guy selling at the lowest price often, you know, not the lowest lowest, but like really low is often the person who's moving the most volume and therefore that's why they're getting the most reviews. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Yeah, people get butt hurt, man. When you buy a collection and it goes up in price, they get butt hurt. But they get butt hurt even more when 
the price they sold at was too low. Um, and then you make a video about them laughing at them and you make it for everyone to see. And then uh, as Dark Towers would say, a hate mob came after him. Uh, and again, it's one of these things where it's your responsibility to do your homework, do your, the less homework, the less, it is not anyone, you are a gaming store. You know you can sell at a convention, you know that you can sell at your gaming store. And I, I believe if I, this is correct, if I'm, it's not correct, correct me. From the comment sections, I believe this is a gaming store. It, the owner closed it, then the employees wanted to you know, buy out or something. Then the owner should just sell the inventory to the employees. It's just business. That's the person who is most likely to pay 80% of the value. So anyway, the collection, let me just tell you what the collection is. The collection Rudy got for 30,000. I, at the same exact moment, would have paid 42 and a half. That was the buy list on Cool Stuff Inc. That was the buy list. And I have screenshots of it because, you know, when I'm, I'm doing deals around that time as well. And it's not anything crazy. It's some Legends cards. It's a Black Lotus. It's a Mox. It's, it's stuff, dual lands. It's stuff that I constantly deal with. So I know the price point at the time is 42000 Highest buy list would be 42000 I would have offered another 500 and they would, you know, that's what I, the guy, because he did not approach me, he lost $12,500 cash for me or whatever payment he chose. That collection today is around 50, I, I, at least 45, maybe more. Um, and that Black Lotus, like considering that Black Lotus is not back in, yes, it has the wrinkle, but like when I look at that, I see it as a very good advertising piece for the store. That Black Lotus has more value to his game store than it has to anyone else. Once you have a Black Lotus in your game store, hey, you know, that's the card people want to see. That's the card that makes people want to buy other cards that they can afford. And that's the card that people will try to save up for. And then if you do trade it away, because you're probably not going to sell it. If you do trade it for away, you're going to get a King's Ransom for that card. I know because I've done it before. And it's like, cause, you know, I don't, again, you're trading into multiple tiny pieces. Uh, so it's kind of annoying, but at the same time, you, you're, you're going to get whatever you want for the card because it is a Black Lotus. So back to the um, the death, the, the frets and stuff like, it's just part of being a YouTuber, man. I get frets every day about, you know, how much they people love Joe Biden. You know, Joe Biden fans are my biggest headache. No matter how many times that I tell them to leave, they just continue to come back and they invite a friend and now it's Nancy Pelosi fans. And I mean, it's like, guys, I've gotten death frets over polls in my community before. And no matter how much I, you know, I, I try to curate the polls, I still have no idea. Like who are the, who are the, who, who are these polls like being shown to? I don't understand. Like how could so many people like Joe Biden? Like I don't, like, it's like you've been with me for like what? 10 years, eight years on YouTube, maybe longer. If you've been with me since OG and you're law student, maybe 12, 15 years. Yeah, you know, I ain't going to like Joe Biden. Like, is that clear or not clear? Don't get politics involved. And it's like, come on, guys. Bye, guys.